In our previous video, we explained what would happen if the Yellowstone supervolcano was going to erupt in our lifetime. As mentioned before, the total amount of underground volume of the Yellowstone caldera is filled with 6-8% of molten rock, even though this is about 2.5 times bigger than scientists imagined it to be, the percentage of molten rock in the magma chamber is much too low to allow another super eruption. It is estimated that over the past 132 million years, about 40 mega colossal super eruptions have occurred on our planet. One of the deadliest eruptions was that of the Toba supervolcano, about 75,000 years ago. This supervolcanic eruption was so deadly and devastating for numerous species, including our own, that scientists formed the Toba Catastrophe Theory to explain the ravaging of vegetation, which in turn led to the near extinction of the human race. The Toba event may have triggered a volcanic winter lasting 6 to 10 years, and probably kicked off global cooling with a 1,000 year long cooling episode. The Toba super eruption has been linked to a genetic bottleneck in human evolution around 70,000 years ago. That may have been the result of a significant reduction in the size of the total human population due to the impact of the eruption on the global climate. Some genetic evidence revealed we are descended from as few as 1,000 breeding humans from around 70,000 years ago. These thousand people may have been the survivors of the aftermath of the Toba super eruption. Analysis of mitochondrial DNA have estimated that the major migration from Africa occurred 60 to 70,000 years ago, consistent with the dating of the Toba eruption 75,000 years ago. However, the link between the Toba super eruption and the genetic bottleneck theory, or hypothesis, has been subject to heavy criticism. In 2013, archaeologists reported finding a microscopic layer of glassy volcanic ash in sediments of Lake Malawi in Africa, and linked the ash to the 75,000 year old Toba super eruption, but found no change in fossils close to the ash layer, something that would be expected following a severe volcanic winter. Another study from Lake Malawi, dating to the period of the Toba super eruption, showed no evidence of a volcanic winter, and the eruption did not have a major climatic effect, or any effect on the number of the human population. Be that as it may, one thing is for certain, the last and largest Toba super eruption 75,000 years ago had a volcanic explosivity index of 8, which is the highest rating of any known eruption on our planet. The estimated ejector volume of the eruption is about 2,800 cubic kilometers. That's nearly three times as much as the last full-scale eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano. 800 cubic kilometers of erupted magma from the Toba super eruption were deposited as ash, leaving a horizon of ashfall and covering large portions of South Asia in a 15 centimeter thick ash layer. It released 6 billion tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. After the magma chamber discharged, the collapse formed a caldera that filled with water, creating what is today Lake Toba. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this.